gloves here and it's another free vst video it's available in a variety of other formats but today we're looking at the brainworks bx solo this is an introduction plugin to try and get you to buy a more equipped uh plugin however i find this one very useful on its own i could see myself setting it up in a signal chain for various reasons and it was intended as a mid-side learning i have a video on like what is mid-side and how do i set it up that's the title um, so go check that out if you don't know what mid-side is, but it's a great way to sort of look at this. I actually talk about how to set up your own mid-side matrix instead of relying on a plugin. However, this can do it for you. So this is a, a stereo widener plugin, meaning it will take a source and it will spread it out into a stereo field. So you do need a stereo track to, for this to work. Now in FL, everything is stereo tracks. And if you want a mono, you just put it in the center. So equal level in both channels and some ways this is great and other ways is not so great because like in things like pro tools or um i just agree pro tools in pro tools you can have like mono tracks and so it's not a big deal so let's uh so what have i got going on here so i have two harmers open one is a a uh, saw wave it's in my left ear and the other one's a square wave it's in my right ear and i'm controlling them both with a layer so when I play them together, they pop up, and I'm going to use this as a demonstration for the plugin. Now, if we come over here to the BX Solo, something they don't tell you is at 100%, that's like you originally configured it. So when it's at 100%, your left and right are essentially where they are supposed to be at. I'm going to turn it on. And whoops, I turned the reverb on. Oh, it's already on. Never mind then. So I turn it on, and it's got, as you can see, it's as I originally set it up. They do not tell you this. And these these middle values if you put your mouse wheel over it and scroll your mouse wheel you can reach the middle values which i find extraordinarily helpful and they have these extra dots that you can't use and so i don't know why they bothered it makes me feel like i should have these available to my to me but they're not available so that's something that sort of ticks me off about this plugin but you know it's whatever i mean it's not a huge deal so anyways, we can bring our signal down to mono. Mono, so it'll take the two signals and sum them together, and it's a mono signal. And you could hear that it's mono. Now, if I go up to 50%, it will begin to unmono my signal. And if I go up to 100, it will be as it originally was. It will be with the left and the right as I configured them. That's something they don't tell you again, and so I, there's no manual for this thing. It's sort of, they assumed it was simple enough that you just knew, would know what it does. And I don't think, I think there should be at least an elementary, this is what these buttons do type thing, like a one page manual or something. So that's what that does. Now they have these, so we could solo our left channel. We can solo our right channel. And as you can see, we get the square wave and the saw wave. And it comes through as a mono signal though. It does not come through so if we bring it down to mono and do this, and we just get the we just get the saw wave, but if we bring it up, whoops, my bad. So it gets a little confusing. So okay, left channel, right channel, and it brings it back down to mono when you solo it, which is something that I don't know. To me, it should solo the left and be on the left. I don't know what the deal is. So we can reverse this. So right now. My right channel is a square wave, my left channel is a saw wave. I can reverse it, left, right. And now my left channel is a square wave, and my right channel is a saw wave. So hopefully you get this left, right thing. However, it does sum it down to mono. It doesn't like keep it in your stereo image. Super unusual. I don't, I don't even know what the deal is there, but that's something you need to be aware of. I would not use these in particular for anything like special. This is just for like checking crap if you want to check something. Now, over here, this is the important stuff. We have our mid and our side. So, again, I'm assuming you know what mid side is. So, you can solo your mid and you can solo your side. So, that's our side signal, the stuff that both channels. Um, so, here's our mid, the stuff they have in, in common, and then the stuff they have different. They do not tell you with the stereo widener what technique they're using. They, I don't know if they're using a phase relationship, a delay relationship. I don't know if they're using a volume relationship i just don't know what they're using so that's another thing that i wish they would tell me because that will influence my decisions however um because i have other plugins that i can just control those different relationships and i can set up something really particular that i know if i want to mix it's going to work great in this particular setting i can set it up so that i know it will work great in that setting here i can solo the mid solo the side and i mean in reality it'll, if it sounds good it sounds good but i want to you know not have to guess so much if i know if i have the knowledge i want to be able to use it and this plugin does not give me that option however 
so we can so if we widen it up which is what i'm talking about now so we're going to spread the signal out further to the edges of our speaker we see that our side signal gets much louder and our mid signal is much quieter by d what as you can hear so it sounds like it's just increasing the volume uh and the differences is what i what's my educated guess and if i unslow it And that's what it's there for. That's what it does. It's how it works. And you might find this useful. Why would I use this? Well, I might leave it in the signal chain. Might leave the, I might set it up two chains. So I might say, okay, I want this. And I'll set this up. I'm going to turn this off here. And let's say I, I don't have plugins that can do mid-side processing. And I want to do mid-side processing, but I don't want to set up the matrix for some weird reason. Well, I could take it and I can route it to two channels. And I can make one. I could drop this plugin on it. Uh, BX solo and I could make this one my mid and I could drop this one on it and I can make this one my side and I could I could even widen it up if I so desire on the side it won't, it won't do anything to your mid because your mid is your common two channels so the stereo widener is specifically for the side and then on the side I could like I don't know maybe add a reverb or, or something maybe I could EQ it different And I could add a reverb, 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 control. Where's my delay? Delay, delay, delay. Flanger, reverb. And so I could do that. And that's a, that's one typical use that I would use for a plugin of this kind. If you're looking for something similar and you happen to own FL, there is uh, the stereo, I believe it's the enhancer. Nope, it's the shaper. We always get those two mixed up. Okay, so the shaper. And you can see we can mess with the delay. We can mess with the phase. We can all even do in-out difference and set up our own matrix and essentially do things in a little more detail. But again, this is an intro plugin for Brainworks to upgrade you to the more to their better one that gives you those. This is an introduction for you to just mess with mid-side on your own time without having to worry about matrixing and stuff. However, I don't recommend using this as a crutch. I recommend you learn the matrixing so you know what's happening to your signal. So check out that video. What is mid-side and how do I set it up? One more thing. Um, if we come over here, I, got, I should take you to the website. This is it. So this is Brainworks BX Solo. And here's the stuff. You have to set up an account with them. So you got, got my account and you set up an account. And then you, when it pops up, it's going to ask you to sign into your account to register the product so that it will work in your DOS. So just so you know, you do have to set up an account and things like that. It's pretty simple. It took a few minutes. So that's that. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.